All right, so we're going to help you travel on a budget this morning. A guest is joining us with great ideas for a staycation in the paradise that we live in. We want to introduce her to Fox 11 News. She is the CEO of Visit Santa Barbara. Of course, they handle our tourism here in town. So good to see you, Kathy. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here. First of all, we live in such a beautiful city, so we already have so many things to do, but people take it for granted, I think, and we kind of maybe live here, but we don't know exactly all the things that are happening. We also want to reiterate that, of course, with the oil spill in Santa Barbara in May, a lot of folks are going to be a little hesitant about our beaches, but you want to kind of clear that up, right? Absolutely. We absolutely live in paradise. We all know that. And in fact, it's a destination that attracts millions of visitors from yeah. all over the world. But you're right. We often do for take it for granted and maybe don't explore our own backyard. But one thing that we don't take for granted anymore are our beaches, certainly po post-oil spill. And Visit Santa Barbara has been working hard to communicate to our visitors that our beaches are very safe yeah. and, and open for business as well. But uh, one way that the vi our locals can contribute to the local economy is by enjoying a staycation and exploring some of the things that maybe they haven't done before in the past. Absolutely. And we want to kind of go through it a little bit. So let's start with the Sailing Center Sea Lions Cruise. What is that all about? Well, we all know that there are lots of sea lions out in the area, but one way to enjoy them is to get up close and personal. And you can board a boat at Santa Barbara Sailing Center and actually head over to a couple of buoys in the harbor area where you can see the playful sea lions and perhaps along the way you may see a dolphin or yeah. a humpback whale or two. I've seen them. They were, they're full in our water and it's we get to see them up close which is so neat. Um, but also the pedicab tour. Tell us about that. You may have seen the pedicabs or even taken one if you've attended concerts at the Santa Barbara so Bowl. Um, and they do cab up and down State Street as well too. But one way to see Santa Barbara is on these pedicabs. You can take scenic tours, perhaps shopping and dining tours, or how about a wine tasting tour mm. through the urban wine trail. It's kind of fun totally fun and also the architectural foundations the walking tour tell us about that one I think sometimes people forget how Santa Barbara was born you know and learning more about their own history so on Saturday and Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock you can take a, a walking tour with Santa Barbara Architectural Foundation where you will explore some of these hidden paseos these secret uh, fountains we all see our beautiful red tile roofs and whitewashed buildings but it's certainly so much more yeah. than that and while you're downtown don't forget to stop at the Santa Barbara County Courthouse because the clock tower just opened up. It was down for renovation for many months, so take advantage of that and see the beautiful views of the area. That's right, the courthouse clock tower. It's gorgeous up it there. Um, wine tasting, of course, huge in our area. There's a new project in the works, the mill project. Yes, we're very fortunate to not only have vineyards our own backyard and certainly the urban wine trail where we have about 25 to 30 tasting rooms in the area, but there's a brand new project that's open opening up on the corner of Laguna and Haley. It's called the Mill Project. And this will house uh, a tasting room, a microbrewery, and also a restaurant. The first tasting room will open up on August 20th. Mm. It's Potuck. Um, some of you may know uh, David Potter of Municipal Mines. This will be actually his project. So please stop by then. Perfect. And lastly, the Sa Saturday Fisherman's Market, of course, bustling with great yeah. stuff to find. We all enjoy seafood, but yeah. the best way to enjoy it is to purchase fresh seafood. And there's nothing more fresh than purchasing it directly from the fishermen right at the harbor itself. So on Saturday mornings, beginning at 7.30 in the morning, you can stop by the, the harbor area and actually see the fish um, that is just unloaded by the fishermen. You can actually talk with them. Uh, learn a little <laughs> bit more about ways to prepare the food yeah. but it is you know absolutely wonderful and again get there early because a lot of it sells it out quickly you absolutely can't get fresher than that yeah. Kathy what's the website if folks are kind of trying to get more information on this Santa Barbara ca.com we have lots of different ideas of, about ways that you can explore your own community it's amazing we live in paradise so we have to go and take advantage of it thanks absolutely. so much for being thank here thank you